Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So, jumping right into this tutorial, we're going to be taking the shade Attract, and we're going to be using that all over our crease. I'm currently trying to open the blind for my cat, because he keeps cracking it. But yes, happy Valentine's Day, baby. Happy Valentine's Day, okay? I did not want to make up on Valentine's Day, but this is a little Valentine's Day, so enjoy it, okay? Anyway, we're taking the shade Attract out of the Bloom Bunny Machina palette, by the way. I literally just push record it and jump straight into this tutorial, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to be using the Machina palette from Bloom Bunny. And we're going to be building this really light pink shade up into our crease. I did prime my eyes already. I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Okay. So now I'm taking the shade Burn. Which is actually a red, by the way, but give or take, you know, it turned pink, okay. I mean, I put, I also put it on top of the pink, so I really expect it to stay red, but yeah, we're using burn, okay. This look is actually kind of cute. It's not my favorite look I've done. I've gotten so many compliments today on it, but it was not, definitely not my favorite look I've done, but. It's really, really pretty for Valentine's Day. I'm more of a blue girl. I feel like I look better in blue. But, you know, personal preference. Okay, personal preference. So, anyway, we're doing both eyes. So, you know, we're going to build up that shade, blend out those edges, yada, yada, yada. Then we're going to go back in with Attract. You know, I like to layer and blend my looks as I do them. I'm not the best blender, okay? So, I like to blend as I go, you know? I recently started doing a little P. Louise 50-50 method, half on, half off type situation. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, anyway, we're going to be digging for a smaller brush. I'm going to be taking the shade Human. Which is the deeper red. I went in with a big fluffy brush. I was like, wait. I really don't want a big fluffy brush. So I ended up changing the brush to a smaller brush. Um, at the moment, y'all, like, I feel like most of the brushes I use are P. Louise today. But I don't know what this brush is. I think it's a Morphe brush. Hold on. Yeah. It's a Morphe M506. But yeah, we're going to be adding a little bit of definition into the bottom part of the crease type situation. Same on the other eye. And then we're going to go backwards with the colors. So starting with that one, then we're going to go back to burn. And then back to attract. It's, it's pretty much, again, it's a layering process, okay? It's a layering process. I am actually really surprised though, like honestly though, that the fact that also I just took this off and I have no stainage, so kudos to Blend Bunny, because normally pinks stain the shit out of my face. Like I have a little bit of stainage, but like not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So kudos to Blend Bunny for the little, uh, little to none stainage. Anyway, like I said, we're going back over with all the shades, y'all, because, you know, again, my layering skills is garbage, so, yes. I was going to do a red and white B-Day look, but I was like, I don't know how that would go. Definitely do not know how that was go. So anyway, we're going to take the shade Exotoxin in, what is that, how do you say it? Octosin? 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 Exotoxin. Octosin, or whatever. And we're going to apply that on the outer half of our eye. It's just to create a deeper shade without necessarily having to go into black. And I still want, I wanted this look to be very much pinky, reddishy type situation. So, 
it just created a really pretty depth shade type of situation. So yeah. I am not mad at it. Like I said, it's not my favorite look, but it's not the worst look I've done. The lid shade is my favorite because I'm using two different lid shades, but other than that, this look came out extra vibrant. I didn't realize how bright these colors were. And then to my box, I was like, your makeup is bright. I'm like, what? Because it's like, on camera, it doesn't look that bright. And with the type of lighting I have, it doesn't look extremely bright. But I also wasn't looking hard enough, so I went to the back and I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus Christ. It was like a whole bottle of Pepto Bismol, girl. But it's all good. It, it's all good. Anyway, you know, we're intensifying certain shades. We're gonna go in and blend all those shades out with all the other shades. Going back in, back and forth again. It's all about the layering. Definitely, I feel like I do a lot of blending, but look, the look comes out in the end. It's all that matters to me. I don't really like cutting out a lot of the bunny because I feel like it defeats the purpose. But at the same time, like I'm like, damn, I gotta cut out half of this. But I like to see, I like y'all to see the process of what I go through to get looks. And cutting out everything doesn't get you that whole create the look vibe with me. But also, by the way, this was filmed at like seven o'clock this morning, so it is now eight o'clock at night. I filmed this eight and a half hours ago. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, it didn't. Twelve and a half hours ago. Ooh. My bad. So, anyway. We're gonna go in with the shade Morality and Conduct. Okay. We're gonna start with the shade Conduct first. And we're gonna put that on the lid. Conduct is the shade out of the pinky red or the reddish the orangey tone section. Yes, ma'am. Look at pretty this shade is because it looks peachy on in the palette, but it has like a really pretty pink or like a slight to the orange shift to it. Like it's a dual crown pack situation, but it looks more pink than orange. Okay, so once we layer. Conduct, we're gonna go in with morality. That's the shade we're putting on right now is morality. And let's just look how beautiful those colors go together. Like I I love this color combination. Let me see how fill myself a little bit. A because I was really about ready to take this look off. Okay, so Going in with precision, we're gonna use it as our brow bone highlight. Y'all know I don't do a starkly brow bone. Good. I'd rather do a stark white brow bone over a glittery high brow bone. I don't know, just personal preference thing. But yeah. Like this look is really, really pretty and I really hope you guys enjoy the look that I created because if not, sorry about it. <laughs> anyway, after we do our little brow bone highlight, we're going to take our brush sideways a little bit and blend out, use that to blend out some of the edges too. And then we're going to go in with my eyeliner. Or we're going to go in, sorry, we're going to clean up under our under eyes first. Like, what are we doing? No, we're not doing eyeliner. We're going to clean up all our, fall out and under our mist. The one thing about it, I will say, is these eyeshadows do transfer quite a bit. I was like, ooh, because I had eyeshadow on my nose. When I before I left school work, I had I should go to the outside of my face. I'm like, how? I did not rub my eyes once today, I don't think. I probably did, but overall, girl. Overall, the, the eyeshadow did transfer a little bit. Okay. But the cleanup was very much spectacular. It was like almost zero fallout. Just to match the travel to the bottom. So now, we're going to take the shade Cyborg. Yes, ma'am, and we are going to pop that in to, sorry, into our inner tear dub. My mic was, like, all up on my boots. So I thought there was something there. I forgot where my clothes are. Yeah, so now we're going to go in with our eyeliner. Gotta sharpen it first, cause you know 
I forget to do these things beforehand. Alright, so we're going to tug a little bit on our eye. Definitely do not tug on your eye. It can cause premature wrinkles, which, girl, boo. But yeah, we're going to pl place the eyeliner on our bottom lash line. We're also going to tight line our top line, too. It's not something that I do very much, very often, but occasionally I like to tight line the top part of my waterline. I feel like it just gives the look a little bit more sultry vibes. You know, I'm not trying to catch nobody or nothing. It's just, yeah. I didn't show it in, today's, in this video, but I did end up putting my dentures in after I got done with this look. Is like, yeah. I had to go to work. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to tie on our eye right now with this card. And it, it can look a little funky. By the way, I, I'm not a big fan of, like, showing how I do it. But sometimes there's nothing wrong with, like, trusting the process or showing the whole process. So you see my eyeballs roll back when I do that because I'm just I'm scared to put myself in the eye. But I've done it several times, but. Yeah, anyway, once you get your liner how you like, we're going to go in with our <laughs> lip gloss. We're going to be using Fenty Beauty Gloss in the shade Fussy because I lost my gloss in Riri and I don't know where it is. I have a backup, but I don't want the backup. I want the one I was using because the one I was using is almost gone. I'm pretty sure it's in one of my backpacks, but I'm just not 100% sure because it better be. Or it's about lingerie somewhere. But anyway, that's it. Bye.